Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me and welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be doing something a little bit unique. I uh, went out this morning to purchase um, a sample of wall paint for my bathroom. Um, I'm using, um, or I'm going to use, it's Revere Pewter. There we go, now you can see it. And it's a Benjamin Moore color. And um, it's not going to work in my bathroom. So I'm like, you know what, I think I'll do a little video of this and everybody can see how you can use old paint samples when you're starting out as a beginner uh, and incorporate this into making some really cool paintings. When I first started painting, this is all I used. I used old paint samples that I had hanging around. All right, so what are we starting with? We're starting with some paint sample. Review your pewter, like I said, you can use any color you want. Um, we have our five by seven little pan uh, canvas. It's a panel, this one. So it has a very thin edge. And these are very inexpensive. And then I have some brushes, so just some different size brushes. And then a palette knife, this is a plastic palette knife. And um, a piece of tape or a ruler, if you have that available as well. And um, some other colors. So I'm gonna do this color blue, which is called Surrealin Blue. And some white. And then we have some green, or Caribbean, I should say. It's um, Caribbean, it's an aqua color. And I'm gonna play around with these. I might introduce some other colors in, but I will let you know as I go along. So let us begin. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put down my tape to kind of draw like some kind of a horizon line. That looks about good. You don't want your horizon line right in the middle of your canvas because that will, it's not, it's not good for the eye. You want your eye to be sort of drawn down or up. Um, so you never want to just make the canvas uh, cut in half. It's not, usually doesn't bode well for a good um, painting. So I'm going to use my uh, blue here and I'm going to plop that right on the canvas and a little bit of white. I don't usually pre-mix. Um, sometimes I do, but not too often. And I usually just put the paint right on the canvas and let it go. Bring it back and forth. This would kind of be the sky, but this is this is just the base color, as my one of my um, my art students says. It's the underwear. It's the underwear that you put on before you go and um, put on the top layer. Your jeans, your coat, your sweater. This is the um, Hanes her way underwear part. Ha ha ha. All right. Okay. So that's pretty good. I like it. Looks good. Let's see how our horizon line looks. Up, oh, it's way too high up. See, so I am my own worst enemy. All right, so I'm gonna bring it down even more and I'm just gonna kind of guess. It doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. See, this is the thing about painting. It's like, as you go along, you're like, okay, that's, I didn't, that doesn't work. So you just fix it. Um, and paint is so forgiving. You can just paint over. So ta-da, there we go. How easy is that? We have our sky. All right, the other thing you're gonna need, of course, is some water in a um, cup that you can kind of clean your brushes off in between. By the way, I'm in my home studio today, which is also known as my dining room table. So you might hear my washing machine in the background. Uh, my son just came home from his apartment with two large loads of laundry. Okay, so now I'm gonna put down my paint. The paintbrush is a little wet. I just spilled some paint right there. See how this is just a, it's, you just always have to kind of mess around. Spill a little bit of water on there. So I'm just going to even it out. All right. So now I'm going to start to pull in that lovely um, Revere Pewter. And I'm just literally going to pour a little bit right onto the canvas. Let's see what happens. Ta-da. That looks pretty. Big blob. It's an interesting color. It's like a gray beige color. Grayish, I guess they call it. Now I'm gonna squirt in a little bit of the um, the aqua and then just maybe a tiny bit of the white. Like I said, there is no plan to this. I had no idea I was gonna do this today and I just decided to do it off of a whim. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start pulling the paint across, just like that. Very lightly, like I'm icing a cupcake. And we're gonna kind of see what sort of patterns this, this sort of makes. Now I'm gonna tell you that one of the things about using wall paint is it's very, it's watery, but it's um, 
it takes a little bit to dry. So it's not gonna dry like your typical paints that you would get from your uh, craft store. All right, so I'm just kind of playing it back and forth like this. That's kind of interesting. I like it. Um, I don't like that little part in the middle, so I'm gonna drag my, my palette knife across to kind of get like a horizon line. All right, and then I'm thinking, hmm, what do I think of that? I'm gonna go back and take that brush that I had. Where is it? Oh, here it is. It was in the water. It still has a little bit of blue paint on it. Oh, look at that. But you know what? That's okay. That's all right. We're gonna just incorporate that into the sky. See? This is total trial and error. Now down here, I'm gonna take my brush and just kind of bring it along here, kind of even that a little bit. And I'm gonna do it again. All right, now, let's see. Now I basic, I have some basics here and it's not much to look at. I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's kind of boring looking. So I'm just gonna go back in with my brush and kind of mess around a little bit. And I think I'm gonna take a little bit of that, that cerulean blue, which is what I put in the sky, and just put a little dab on here, like that. Go back to my lovely palette knife, and let's drag that through and see how that looks. Well, that brings in a whole nother color, doesn't it? And when you're using this type of paint, wall paint, you're gonna get different sort of textures. Like right there, there's little bubbles. I kinda like that. So I'm gonna just kinda play around with this a little bit. You can also go like this if you wanted to. Go that way for some other kind of cool striations. Back up again, across. Just playing around, playing around. So this is the underwear for our painting. I kind of like that little glowy part right there of the Revere Pewter. I think that looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna leave that for right now. All right, um, we'll come back to this. Don't worry about that, we'll come back to this. I know it doesn't look very pretty right now. And when you are painting whatever it is, usually about halfway through, I usually go, this is the worst painting I've ever seen in my life. Um, and then <laughs> nine out of 10 times, it turns out to be pretty good. So it's not uncommon to be halfway through your painting and go, this, this is not good. But just go all the way through before you decide you're gonna throw it out or redo it. I shouldn't say throw it out, redo it. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of white paint and um, I'm going to off screen right here, you can't see it, but I'm just, dabbing it onto my palette, which is a piece of board that I use. And I'm just putting the white paint down and has a little bit of blue in it and that's okay. And I'm just gonna start putting in some clouds. So I'm just using this kind of cruddy brush. It's called Artist Loft. It's not cruddy, I shouldn't say that. It's, um, it's inexpensive. It's an inexpensive brush. And the bristles are a little rough and I like that because I kind of want to do these sort of like um, thin clouds, as you go along, kind of like that. All right, and just play around with it. You can kind of make them sweep up a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, clouds can be really tough. It can be a long time to get the whole cloud thing down, and I really just, um, mostly use these types in the beginning. And I'm just going back and forth and just kind of getting a little bit of white in there and seeing how that looks. Doing a little blending. This is a very blue painting. But when, if you can see down here a little bit, I know it's kind of maybe a little bit hard, but it's pretty shiny down here. But that shine is going to go away when the when the latex um, or the excuse me the acrylic dries in there. Is there latex in there? I don't even know in the Revere Pewter. 
don't know, but that's a really pretty color for your walls. If you're looking for a nice neutral, it's a very warm color. All right, here's the other thing I've noticed is like, I, sometimes I go a little crazy with the clouds. So I have to, um, I sometimes I blend them all back in and then redo it. A little dab of something there. This is just one of those days where you're sort of at the, the beach or the lake or whatever, and you're just kind of like, wow, it's a beautiful day. Not a lot of nice high clouds, high thin clouds. Okay, that looks kind of interesting. I like it. Maybe just soften this up down here a little bit. Back and forth. And I'm pretty lightly going across the canvas here. It's, I'm not doing like a heavy. When I first started painting, I was like heavily dragging the paint across and across. And I'm like, oh wait, I, I can be light. I have like a light touch and get a whole new brush stroke and, and new sort of things happen on the canvas. It's pretty interesting. I don't know about that. I think it looks pretty good. Just a few more in here. Like that. Yeah, I kind of like that, how they're sweeping up instead of going across. It's a little bit more pleasing, I think. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna stop me messing with that because you can go on forever with clouds. That is true. Okay, I don't know why, but I have a runny nose all of a sudden. It's like the story of my life. All right, so what are we gonna do now? Well, we are going to go back to our palette knife. Here it is, ta-da, ta-da. And I'm gonna go, now this has begun to dry a little bit, so let's see what sort of movement we get in the paint here as we go across. You're gonna get even more sort of marks and things like that as you go across. So you want to be sort of, looks like an ocean or a body of water, but it could be something you know, it's sort of abstracty looking. I'm gonna pull the paint off of that a little bit, just dry off my my um, palette knife. I'll go back in. And what I'm doing is I'm just really just sort of playing around by like pulling color, moving it around, seeing what happens. Just like that. And I, I like the way that this is looking up here. It's almost looking like a little bit of land. So what I might do is take a clean brush and a little one, and then right here, I might just sort of dot in a little bit more of that and make it look like it's land, like that. This is the Revere Pewter, back to this. So it looks kind of landish, or not. This is how I do most of my paintings. I just play around with it in colors and stuff. Back to the palette knife. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit, very lightly go back and forth again, like that. And I really, um, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix that right there because that will look a little strange. So, looks pretty good. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean off my palette knife again as, as much as I can. And I guess, can you guys see that okay? All right, there we go, that's better. And I'm gonna take that, that cerulean blue and I'm gonna put some cerulean blue on my palette knife so it's like just a little bit of an edge right there. And I'm gonna just dot it along. Sometimes it gets sticky and it doesn't wanna go. Hmm. So we dot it along there. And do that again. Put the cerulean blue right onto the palette knife. Being a little bit of a pistol right now. Being a little bit of a paint. Up oh, there we go. Here we go. There we go. And I'm just moving it across. So this could be like a sandbar. That could be land. If I want to make it more land-like, I could just make this go up like that. Now it looks more land-like. 
like so. You can always come back and, and play around with it and do other things too. All right, so I, I really like the way that this looks. This is super pretty, but I want a little bit more in that water. So I'm going to put um, a little bit more of this green color in, this aqua color. So I'm just gonna, again, right onto the canvas, squeeze a little bit. And I'm also gonna do a tiny bit of white. Tiny bit of white, just like that. And this this is a very beginner type thing. So um, with my paintings, I usually do a lot more than this. I, there's a lot of steps that I, I do, but this is just a good way to begin by pushing the paint around. All right, so now I'm just kind of bringing it and I'm pulling a little bit of that paint off as I move it across. And that Revere Pewter is still there. It's still underneath there and it's giving it a nice warm glow. And there's a lot of paint on here. So I'm gonna pull some off so we can see if we can see some of that Revere Pewter. There it is. Going around, there's some of the white. All right, and then just again, bring it across. You could do this for hours, <laughs> just on and on and on, laying around. That's kind of cool, but I think I'm gonna move that a little bit. There we go. So wh however that you leave it, that's how it's gonna dry. I kind of like that. I'm gonna come back and let, I'm gonna let this dry and I'm gonna add some more in because I'm picky like that. But you could leave it just like this. And that could be, you know, um, your first abstract. It's very pretty. And the other thing I wanna tell you is before I um, sign off and let this dry. I mean, now I'm just pulling in a little bit more of the white, kind of messing around here, um, using a brush. Is is uh, one thing that I always advise people to do is to to prop your painting up in an area where you can take five to ten steps back and look at it. It's called perspective. And it's critically important because when we're painting, we're looking at something really, really up close. And when you look at something far away, it very often looks very different. And then intuitively, when you look at it, you'll say, oh, it needs this, this needs that, that area doesn't look right or whatever it is. So, um, so yeah, so that's basically pretty much a simple beginner abstract using wall paint. So I encourage you to use whatever you have at home and play around don't need expensive paint you can use inexpensive paint from the craft store and um yeah just have fun with it and see what you come up with all right i hope you guys enjoyed this lesson please like um my channel hit the subscribe button and the little bell the notification leave me a comment if you like this and i hope you all have a wonderful day thank you